Hey, good morning. It's Sunday, and I'm over here doing a little bit of work at the light table. I got a message from my friend Tom yesterday, and he was asking if I was going over to that indoor garage sale over in Brattleboro. I told him that I wasn't sure I wanted to go all the way out there because I didn't want to drive out there if they weren't going to be there. So he ended up actually calling someone, and he found out that family emergency, they weren't going to be able to show up. I ended up just going out there anyway because I haven't seen Tom in a while and I really wanted to hit that dump because he's got an amazing dump. Plus a lot of times he'll find like free items in the dump and he'll just put them aside and when he gets like a box of stuff he'll sell me like you know a box of stuff for a really good price. I ended up actually buying a couple of small boxes yesterday and I'll show that stuff to you guys towards the end of the video. When I got to his house he had this great big box full of packing material. A lot of them were those air pillows and that stuff is super super valuable for me. You know I use it for whenever I'm packing delicate items and stuff and I always take whatever bubble wrap or packing material I can get for free but he just jumped in the van and we shot down to the local dump. So one of the first things that I found when I got there today was this espresso machine. Now I don't plan on selling this but what I want to do is just take off the parts. I'll probably end up selling the porta filter, that cap. I might be able to get something for this little thing right here. This is the carafe. This will probably sell for like 10 or 15 plus shipping. The grate would be a seller too but it's missing. When I walked in their building yesterday, I noticed that there were two vintage toasters on the shelf. This was the first one right here. It's a really nice looking toaster. It looks like it's probably from the 70s or 80s. And, you know, it is a little bit dirty, but overall it's in beautiful condition. Now, these toasters did have some snow on there and some water got inside of here. So I've been keeping them upside down trying to drain them. So it's going to be a like probably a week or so before I can test them. I just don't want to like have any water in here when I try to plug them in. I couldn't find this exact one, but I think this might sell for about 25 plus shipping. I've sold vintage toasters like this in the past. Sometimes they can be a little bit long tail, but eventually they do sell. This is the other toaster. This particular model is a little bit more rare. It's got that old vintage look to it. You know, nice brown color. You know, just in overall pretty good shape. And I saw that recently somebody had sold one for about $80 plus shipping. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tested as soon as I can. And I'll wait for the right buyer to come along. I also found this item over there yesterday with Tom. It's a pair of Thermosel heated insoles. I believe everything is still brand new. Looks like the little holder here is brand new. And it just looks like it's in very good condition. It looks like that's still factory wrapped. So I'm going to have to take a look at some of the other eBay listings and try to compare pictures of like new open box items. When I looked it up, it looked like that was selling for about 60 bucks free shipping. Tom actually found this item on the shelf over at the dump. It's called a Thrustmaster and it's made for PlayStation 4. It's used for racing games. Unfortunately, I don't have a PS4 to test this, but I think he mentioned he saw that you could actually hook these up to the computer. I'm hoping so. It looks like this can probably sell for between $120 and $200. I'm going to try to figure out a way to test it, but I think it should do okay. I saw that even in parts only condition they were selling for like 50 bucks. In that box were these two nunchuck controllers. I'm going to have to test them. I don't know if they work or not, but they look like they're in okay condition. There was also this Guitar Hero dongle. These actually sell for about $25, but I like to keep these just in case I find a guitar and I want to lot it together with the guitar. I was excited to see this box. It's a Wii Sports Resorts box. It's supposed to have the Motion Plus inside. It doesn't. It does have the game case, but sadly it's not Resort, it's Rock Band. There's still a market for the actual box. It looks like the replacement box is selling for about $17 or $18. There was also this thing called the Snoozy Pod. It's a vibrating bedtime soother. And I guess it's for babies. And it looks like they sell somewhere in the $30 plus shipping range. This actually should be in the previous video because I found it at my local dump. It's a Hard Rock Cafe backstage pass. It was just sitting out there and I think they sell for about $15 to $18. You know, this is why I always say compared to my dump and Tom's dump, there's really no comparison. I mean, the one close to my house is a lot bigger, 
but they just don't get the quality and quantity of good stuff that uh, Tom's Place gets. Like I got all that stuff out there yesterday and the only thing I found yesterday was this little uh, best test cement dispenser this probably sells for like 20 bucks and there was this little I think it's a regulator for like a Mr. Buddy heater and that's pretty much it you know you know hundreds of dollars at Tom's dump like 30 bucks at mine so so his is definitely my favorite place to go to I would say I get good stuff there more times than not Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Monday night, and I'm over here at the work table. I just got done listing a couple of items, but I'm trying to get some more stuff listed tonight. I've got a lot of stuff in my way. I just grabbed this toaster that I got at the dump Saturday. I didn't see any water in it, so I figured, you know what? Let's just give this thing a shot. And there you go. That thing is definitely working well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing wiped down, and I'm probably just going to list this tonight. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm over here at the work area. It hasn't been a very productive day, but I did list a couple of items. A few weeks ago, I picked up a bunch of invitations over at the dump. So I went ahead and put them in a lot for $39.95 plus shipping, and I packed them up and put them on the shelf. I also went ahead and listed those Tupperware stencils, so those things are ready to go. I'm currently working on this Play Mobile stuff that I got from the dump a couple of weeks ago. I'm using my phone camera right now because I'm too lazy to get up and go get my camcorder. So I'm not sure how well you guys can tell, but this stuff is really dirty. I'm just going to spray this stuff down with some cleaner that I have. And I'll probably end up lotting this stuff together. It's going to end up being sold as is or for parts, though. Hey, how you doing, guys? I'm over here at the work slash light table. And I've had this little project open for about two days now, so I haven't gotten much done because it's been in my way. Yesterday, I went ahead and took these white pieces and put them in a bucket of hot soapy water. That way I could try to get all the funk off of them. And I went ahead and took all of the parts and pieces, and I basically tried to organize them as best as I could. There are quite a few pieces and parts now that dinosaur over there sells for about $20 free shipping and this blue stuff and the white stuff sells for about 15 plus shipping. I think I'm going to try to sell it all. I don't know how it's all going to do. There are some pieces that are broken. That's a broken flag right there. And we've got a uh, little broken hand over here. So I don't think I'm going to get as much as I had hoped, but I'm hoping I can get 40 plus shipping. The only bad thing about stuff like this is whenever I have something I really don't like messing with, it usually sits on this table for a while because I just don't like messing with it. But I absolutely have to get this stuff packed up tonight. It's just taking up too much time, and I've got a lot of other work that needs to be done. I always love seeing the light table completely cleared off. It's a rare occurrence, and I know it'll always be short-lived, especially on Thursdays. Because you guys know what Thursdays are. That's right. For the last couple of months, Thursday is Big Josh's Dump and Thrift Store Day. If this is your first time ever to my channel, welcome. My name is Josh. I used to go thrifting every day. And I would also hit the dump, garage sales, estate sales, whatever I can find. But sadly, I ended up getting so much stuff that I had to cut back to just one day a week at the thrift stores. I still do go to the dump about two to three days a week. Lately, it's been kind of cold, so I don't go when it's really cold. An example of that would be like Tuesday. It was, I think, five degrees outside, and Big Josh wasn't trying to go anywhere. But I was definitely ready to go today. And actually, it ended up being a pretty good day found these nice vintage cereal bowls they're made by a Rubbermaid some of you guys that watch a lot of my videos know that I love Rubbermaid and I absolutely love finding these things these were very popular in the 80s and 90s and they were made so well that they're still in really good usable condition today these were all in the 25 cent per item box so I got all of these for a dollar fifty now these are not rubber made these are made by a company called Carlisle which is based out of Oklahoma I think whoever buys these will probably think that the orange bowls will be useful too for a set like that I expect to sell them for about twenty five dollars plus shipping I got this vintage Boston pencil sharpener I paid three bucks for it 
and I expect to sell this for about twelve to seventeen dollars plus shipping. I love selling these right here. This is a vintage Polynex body massager. I opened it up and tested it and it's in really nice condition. I paid five bucks for this and I think because of the condition I could probably sell it for about 35 plus shipping. There was also this Sunbeam infrared massager and it's got some extra attachments. I believe I saw that one of these had sold for about $50 plus shipping. I think there were also some cheaper ones but I don't usually like to be the cheapest guy on eBay. What I usually do is just list it and forget about it. I also picked up this bag over there today. This is a vintage Norelco shaver. I paid $3 for it. I'm not sure if it works, but I know the parts sell for pretty good money. I think I'll do really well with this. This is a vintage Canon point and shoot. It is the Sure Shot 60 Zoom. I paid three bucks for it. I've had really good luck with stuff like this. I believe this one sells for about 40 bucks free shipping. This is an As Seen on TV Magic Track set. It's got 360 pieces of glow in the dark goodness. They had it on a shelf for five bucks. And when I looked it up, it looks like I could sell this for about $50 plus shipping. It's still sealed in the original box. I think that was everything that I found over at the Salvation Army today. The next stop was the More Than a Thrift Store, and I found a few items there as well. I got this pair of Wigwam socks. They were a dollar. The packaging's a bit beat up, but I think I saw one of these selling for about $8 plus $5 shipping, so we might be able to get about 13 bucks for it. And while I was over there today, I found these three items. They're all the same. It's called Pocket Mouse. They were $0.50 cents a piece, so $1.50 for all three and it looks like each one of these sells for around $15 with free shipping. I found this vintage rubber pampered chef spatula. This was 50 cents and I believe this sells for about 15 free shipping. I also picked up this Norelco shaver. This is actually a really good shaver and they sell for about 40 bucks but unfortunately when I was recording it I picked up the bag. The unit fell out. I got this nice... Ah, shit. Oh, it hit the ground and the top piece broke off of the head. Now all I can do is sell it for parts. So I'm not sure what I'm going to get for it, but I think it'll probably be something. I think that's everything that I found over at the More Than the Thrift. I ended up leaving and going to the local dump. I haven't been since Saturday, so I wanted to get out there and see if there was anything good. I ended up finding a few items out there today. There were these three vintage Dexter kitchen knives. They do show some signs of wear and tear. I don't think they're worth a whole lot, but they are made in the USA, and I should be able to get something for them. I found this little light, and it sells for about $10 free shipping. When I was walking out, the manager was walking by, and he said, Hey, you want these? They're pickle socks. I said, Okay. I ended up looking up the brand and they do sell for about ten to fifteen dollars unfortunately there is some dirt here and some dirt over here they are new it looks like somebody just dropped them on the ground i think somebody will still buy them and probably just wash them they had a little box with some cross-country shoes in there they had this little pair in there and i think that i can sell this for about thirty bucks plus shipping they also had this pair as well these are made in japan but i can't find a name anywhere these might be getting redonated. These are Fisher cross country shoes. When I looked them up, it looks like I could probably sell these for about 50 bucks plus shipping. I would have to say though, that one of the more unusual situations that I've ever seen reselling happened to me today at the dump. Now, I'm not sure what this was all about. It was kind of spooky, a little bit eerie. When I was walking around the dump today, I had these terrible, terrible cramps. I had one in my back, I had one in my leg and in my side. And it was even like that while I was driving to the dump, but it was in my side only. So I was having a really difficult time walking around and I had to keep on bracing myself, like putting my hand on a shelf or like I had to bend over a chair and just kind of just kind of stretch my back a little bit until the pain went away. I think it's safe to say that I was just having a very difficult time getting around today. Okay, so a lot of the bookshelves that they have out there actually have two sides. You got this side and then the back side has books on it. Well, I was walking through one of the aisles today and I hit the bookshelf and I heard a book drop. 
So I thought to myself, oh great, now I gotta bend over and pick up this book. So I'm looking down and I don't see any book anywhere. So I thought, okay, it must have fallen on the other side. And sure enough, when I walked over to the other side, I saw that this was on the ground. So I picked it up and out of curiosity, I said, what is this? The witch's tarot? And I thought it would just be interesting to look it up. And when I looked it up, I saw that it was selling for over a hundred dollars. You know, I don't know anything about witchcraft or witches or anything, but I just thought it was unusual that this thing just gave itself to me. But it makes you wonder, was it just some type of coincidence or was it something more sinister? I also wanted to mention some of the items that I got from my friend Tom Saturday. As you guys know, we hung out Saturday and picked up a bunch of stuff at the dump. But he also sold me a few items. Not long ago, he picked up a PlayStation 2 Slim at the dump with a bunch of games. Uh, he wanted to keep the Slim, but he ended up selling me all the games for like 10 bucks. There's actually some pretty neat titles that I want to put in my collection that I don't have. There was this ATV game for the PS2. There was this SOCOM combined assault game. There was this Splinter Cell game. I've never actually played this, so this will probably definitely be going in my collection. There were these three PSP SOCOM games. I actually bought a PSP off Tom last year, and I still have it. I just need to get a battery for it, and I'll probably keep that, and I'll probably keep these and play with these too. I also got this copy of Full Spectrum Warrior for the PS2. This one's still sealed in the original package. This one's also sealed. It's Battlefield 2. I used to play this a lot on the computer. This one is the, it looks like the greatest hits edition. Another SOCOM game. Navy Seals 3. There was DDR Max. I'll probably trade this for something else. I don't think I'm going to be doing a whole lot of dancing. I thought there was this ATV game in here, but it wasn't the ATV game at all. It happened to be a copy of Wii Sports, so I got to get that tested and see if it works. There was also this copy of Ultimate Party Challenge for the Wii, and since I like to collect GameCube, this is a copy of Mario Party 4 that'll definitely be going to my collection. This is not a video game. It's called Tony Hawk's Trick Tips DVD. I think I saw one of these sell for like $20 new, so I'm not sure how much I'll sell it for used, but this was also in the little lot. I did not get these from Tom. These actually came from the dump. It's a set of three Baby Einstein DVDs. These won't sell for a lot of money, but they will send a media mail, so I could probably throw these up there for about $12.95 free shipping. Now, I paid Tom 50 bucks for this box. There are a few good items in there. This is some type of cable tester. It's not worth anything, and it'll be getting redonated to uh, the dump. This is a GE cassette recorder. I did put some batteries in it, and I hit the play and rewind, and it looks like it's working, but I'm actually going to have to put a tape in there. I think this is probably selling for about $30. I think this is some type of battery case, and it's supposed to charge your phone. I thought it was new, but when I opened it up, it was all grimy and everything. I'm not going to be able to sell this. I might be able to sell it for, like, parts or whatever. If it was brand new, I might be able to sell it for about $40, bucks, 30 bucks, but... In condition like this, maybe $10 free shipping. This one right here, probably no good. With this camera, I was actually with Tom when he found this. It was like several months ago. I think this might be like a $35 to $50 camera. I didn't see this exact color scheme, but others were selling for that range. Now the same thing applies to this tape recorder. I also put batteries in it, and it seems to be spinning fine, but I'm going to have to put a cassette in there to really make sure. This is an old HP cartridge. It's the 45. It has a Best Buy use date of 2003. I think this one's selling for about $15 free shipping. If I'm not mistaken, this is the one that you can actually like refill. Or There's a particular one, and I think this is the one that people just want. And then there was this thing right here. I think it's some kind of like Accurite, uh, some kind of radio. I think I saw a new one selling for about $25, so I don't really know how much this is going to sell for in pre-owned condition, but we'll find out. All right, my friends, so that's everything that I found this past weekend and up till now. Tomorrow's Friday, so I think I'm just going to stay home and try to list as much as possible. 
I'll probably end up hitting the dump with Tom Saturday. He also mentioned that there's a thrift store in Brattleboro that's got some stuff that I'm looking for. So I'll probably go out there and see if we can't find some more stuff. You know, if we do, we do. If not, that's fine too. Big Josh has got plenty to keep him busy. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great day or night.